My name is Deirdre Breen. I'm a visual artist based in Cork City. I'm a multidisciplinary designer and printmaker. Um, my work primarily is comprised of screen prints. My work is concerned with the intersection of art and design and I look at compositional principles that are common to both. I investigate colour, form and geometry to create abstract, playful compositions. Some of my recent print work was looking at how I could create RGB digital colour spaces in, in a physical uh, print. More recently I've been working in 3D looking at sculptural objects cast in jesmonite from foam. I'm really interested in our material reality and the perceptual structures that support this. The hierarchy of materials is something that I'm very curious about, um, especially looking at materials that we see as valuable or that we venerate um, and materials that we see as disposable and lightweight. I think that mode of thinking has definitely informed how I've answered this brief. The artwork was commissioned by corporate makers, the Lavic Gallery and Backwater Artist Group and the intention for the work is to communicate to the wider public the activity that happens in the complex here on Wands for Key. The brief was to create a site-specific mural that was grounded in place, whether that be the history of the building or the current use as a creative complex. And my intention was to, to reference both in, in the artwork. The building has been a continual site of production. It has been a priory, a mill, a printers and more recently a creative complex. The architectural features and material surface of the building inform the artwork. The graphic repetition is based on the architectural coins from the elevation of the front of the building. The artwork questions the surface of the wall as something physically motionless. The surface pattern creates an optical illusion of continuous dynamism through the interrelationship of the shapes and colours. This references the complex as a constant site of production. The wall is turned from a background into a performative device. The concept for the artwork is very much grounded in place. There's a sense of rhythm to the artwork and this is intentional to reflect the riverside location of the site. The colours in the artwork reference the architecture of the building. The Virgin Mary Blue was specified by the architects when they were restoring and converting the space to its current usage now as an art space. The red colour references the sandstone of the building walls. Moving from working on flat 2D pieces to something that is large in scale um, was, was a big challenge because I'm so used to a very um, processed way of working when it comes to screen printing, whereas this is a lot more um, looser and a bit freer, even though there is a technical element as well in terms of kind of gridding out the pieces so that the, the kind of line and detail all stays very sharp. Interesting aspects of installing pieces like this or artworks like this in the city centre is the conversations that you have with people um, on a daily basis as you're installing. Like I found I learned a lot more about 
the areas that I was working in, um, but also the personal narratives as well of people who live in and, and work in the city. It's, it's lovely to kind of engage with people and hear those stories. And a big seller too.